Hey guys, what's up? This is Nico and I'm back for another video. Today, I will be showing you what I got in the mail today. It's Frippinino's No Pussy Footing. I did a uh, first take of this video, which I had the shrink wrap on, which was really good. Uh, but, uh, it's, the, my phone messed up and it wouldn't save it. So here I am with the second take here. Okay guys, here's Frippinino's No Pussy Footing. Just a little background here, uh, this was a collaboration, the most famous collaboration with Fripp, is Fripp and Eno. These guys work, I never heard really any of their stuff yet, but I, what I've heard, they work great together. They're, they're two pioneers in music and progressive experimental. Robert Fripp, if you guys don't know, is a pioneer with the guitar and he made his own system called Frippertronics, which is pretty nice there. Uh, so let's get started here and uh, Brian Eno came with electronic music he's a big pioneer in electronic music he also produces some of Coldplay's albums and he, he was with Roxy Music as well so two pioneers I never heard this album in my life so it's something new for me but these two pioneers must work great together in this album here uh, but let's get straight into the review here uh, I mean the unboxing uh, here we go, we have the front cover which is really trippy here. It's with mirrors and it shows the reflections going really far out in there. And then you just have this room in here inside those mirrors here with Robert Fripp, with Robert Fripp right there. And then Brian Eno with his long hair there, back when he had he had a lot of hair. No one saw Brian Eno, you, you're awesome, but... That's what happens to all of us eventually. We lose our hair and stuff. Uh, kind of awkward there. But let's get straight into it here. Uh, Robert Fripp's No Pussy Footing here. Uh, here, I'm going to open it for you guys. It just opens up and you notice something's missing. There is no uh, booklet in here, but I'll show you. Something will make up for that. I'll show you in a minute. And the, just the CD. I love the, the quality of the CD. It's nice here. And, as you can tell, you see the the logo from DGM there and a couple of other companies uh, there. Uh, then it just comes out. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Made in the USA. Uh, here we go. We just have some descriptions here of how they mastered it and how they did it here. And then, if you didn't notice, Robert Fripp changed sides. This is trippy, man. It's always good to have some trippy stuff, abstract stuff here. Uh, but yeah, it's nice there. Then I'll pull up the other one here and show you. It's always a surprise what happens here. But here we go. And there's just some more explanation there. It's, and it just makes up for no booklet. Would they try to save paper? I commend them for that. That's great to do. Uh, but here we go. We got Frippinino again in this room. It's reversed. Get it reversed. They during their bonus tracks they reversed the tracks there and made it bonus tracks. So let's I'll just show you the track listings here. Two discs here. The first one's the standard album. The second one contains the bonus tracks, which none I've ever heard before. So it should be a surprise. And here we go. The first track, the Heavenly Music Corporation, which clocks in at a mighty 20 minutes and. 20 minutes and 52 seconds and then I'm just looking out the camera now so that's the only way I see it and Robert Fripp and Eno give some other credits then Swastika Girls which is an interesting title to a, a track like that which it's it's a great track I mean no I never heard the track before but it must be pretty good with that name alright and then we go down here and then you see the Heavenly Music Corporation, they reverse it, turn it to a whole different track. Then CD2, the Heavenly Music Corporation, it's half speed this time, so it's different. Then you have Swastika Girls Reverse, some other credits here. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a great album. The packaging is great. It, I'll just let you hear it. The packaging, it's just great. Great packaging. And, yeah. yeah so, I haven't heard the album yet, should be good, but please leave in comments below if you guys heard about it and what you have to say about it. 
and would, I would love to read your comments down there and just for a shout out for a couple of people uh, just under my checkout channels I have my brother's channel down there please check his channel out too he does minecraft videos video games whatever fits his forte <laughs> and uh, as you guys know I do my prog reviews and jazz whatever this is going to sound really conceited, whatever I like, but you guys can give suggestions. I will pick them up, check them out. And also my friend Ken, he does, his channel's called, and username's called Rayview. It's R-A-V-Y-O-U. Please check him out too. He does movie reviews, and he does uh, some music, which personally, it's commercialized music. But... He likes that stuff, but anyway, uh, and then he does book reviews, which is cool too, so please check him out as well. And guys, thank you for watching this video. I will post some more videos shortly. I'll do a review of this once I've heard of it. And peace out, guys, and have a good one. Prog out. Peace out. And just one more channel. I forgot to shout out. is Vroom UK. Please check his stuff out too. He does good prog reviews. He's probably the only other prog reviewer out there that is solely on prog, but please check him out too, and peace out guys.